Have you ever wondered why some customers keep coming back and making purchases over and over, while others vanish after a single transaction? What if I told you there is a way to not only understand this phenomenon, but also use it to control your business growth? Today, we are diving into one of the two most important metrics in marketing and the whole business – Customer Lifetime Value or LTV. Lifetime Value is your go-to metric to measure, analyze from different angles, and increase it to maximize your profits, optimize your strategies, and build lasting customer relationships. Hey there, I'm Yevgen. You are at our Marketing Analytics with Oblox BI YouTube channel where we speak all things about marketing, analytics, and data. It's your go-to source for crafting the right strategies for better marketing performance, so if you want to be all about making data to grow your business, my friend, then subscribe to this channel, enable notifications so you don't miss any of the insights. In this video, I'm going to break down what lifetime value is, how you can calculate it for your business, and what are the strategies you can deploy to improve it. Whether you are a marketing professional, or a business owner, or you're working on preparing reports for the business people, LTV as a KPI could be the game changer you've been looking for. With this being said, let's dive right into it. Customer Lifetime Value, or LTV, might sound complex, but it's quite straightforward. It's the total revenue you can expect from a single customer through their entire relationship with your business. So it's not just about a single purchase like average order value. It's about the entire journey of purchases your customer make from discovering your brand to their last interaction. And why does this matter, you ask? LTV is important because it shifts the focus from short-term gains from, from the very first sale to long-term relationship with your audience. Focusing on long-term value from a customer guides your advertising and marketing expanding you are not just going for the quick wins, shapes the sales strategies and sometimes even influences the product development. Knowing the lifetime value helps you understand how much is affordable to invest in acquiring new customers and retaining the existing ones, ensuring you are spending your marketing budget wisely for scalable and controlled growth. Consider a simple coffee shop example. If a customer visits your copy shop twice a week, spends $5 each time, and continues this habit for 5 years, the LTV is not just $5, it's much, much more. Basically, it's around $2,500, and I'll show you the formula a bit later. But by calculating lifetime value, you can better understand the value of keeping that customer coming back for their coffee fix. And please remember, customer lifetime value isn't a static number. It's dynamic metric that changes over a lifetime as your business strategies change and your customers get back to you. So whether you're running an e-commerce store, a subscription service, large SaaS business, or even a local bakery, understanding, measuring, and optimizing your customer lifetime value is the key to maximizing profits, driving your strategies, and building those all-important lasting customer relationships. If you like what we are doing here, if you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and enable notifications for more actionable insights into making the business data that, that you have worked for you and for your revenue and profits. Moving on, let's tackle the heart of the matter. How to calculate the customer lifetime value? At its core, the formula for LTV is very simple is the magic trifecta of average order value, purchase frequency, and the customer lifespan. LTV equals the average order value multiplied by purchase frequency, and then you multiply it by the customer's lifespan. Here is how it breaks down. Average order value. Start by dividing your total revenue over a specific period, let's say a year or at least a few months, by the number of orders in that period. This gives you the average or amount spent each time a customer makes a purchase. Purchase frequency. 
Here you calculate how often an average customer buys from you in the same period of time. You just need to make the number of orders and divide it by the number of customers who made those orders. Customer lifespan. Here you estimate how long a typical customer continues purchasing from you your business, one month, one year, five years. And now let's see it in action. I'll give you an example from my past life. Suppose you run a bookstore. Your average customer spends 30 bucks per order, orders 12 times a year, like once a month, and remains a customer for five years until he moves to another apartment. The lifetime value would be $30 multiplied by 12 and multiplied by 5, which gives us $1,800. But here's where it gets really interesting. While the basic formula gives you a starting point, Advanced methods of leveraging predictive analytics can offer deeper insights into patterns, especially for businesses that are ready to dig deeper into big data. These methods account for variations over time, using cohort analysis for analyzing different customer segments, and can even predict future behavior based on past data. It's like a crystal ball, but for your business finances. Whether your business is big or small, e-commerce or brick and mortar, calculating your lifetime value unlocks that secret to what each customer is worth to you over time. And with this knowledge, you can tailor your customer acquisition strategies, the amount of money you are okay to spend to get each next customer and to attract the customers that are willing to stay with you and keep them for longer. Remember, the higher the LTV, the more valuable each customer is to your business. And that's what we're all aiming for, right? Maximizing the total value, not just the transactions. But here's the thing. You'll get the full puzzle, really, when you compare your customer lifetime value with the customer acquisition cost, another most important metric for marketers. Lifetime value to customer acquisition cost ratio, my friend, is the North Star for the business. That's exactly the metric that ensures the opportunity for scalable and sustainable business growth. So why is the customer lifetime value to, to customer acquisition cost ratio is so important? First, this ratio tells you how much value you are getting in return for every dollar you invest in acquiring new customers. A healthy LTV to CAC ratio means your business model is sustainable and designed for growth. Second, the LTV to CAC ratio acts like an investment guide. Let's say you know that you'll get $3 back for each $1 you invest. Now, you can select where and how much to invest in customer acquisition. Spending money on acquiring new customers is only smart if those customers bring in more value over their lifespan than what you spend to get them. While 3 to 1 LTV to CAC ratio is often uh, cited as a benchmark uh, for every healthy business, the ideal ratio can vary so much from industry to industry, from business model to business model. Sure, because you have the other expenses, not just the customer acquisition cost. The key is finding your optimal customer acquisition cost to LTV ratio that supports both profitability and growth. And if your lifetime value is significantly higher than your customer acquisition cost, congratulations, you are likely on the path to profitability. But it also means that you can invest more today to get more customers tomorrow and increase your market share. But if your lifetime value is too close to your customer acquisition cost or even worth, it's lower, it's a red flag that your business might be spending too much to acquire customers who don't bring in enough value for your business. However, that's not always the case as well. Startups, early stage companies, they invest money into getting the market share, getting more people to know about their product or brand, and that opens them instruments for raising more money or reducing the customer acquisition cost in the future. And I know. You are ready to boost your lifetime value and optimize your spending. Let's move on to the strategies 
that can make this happen. How do we do this? How do we improve our customer lifetime value? I laid down right now a few strategies to, to increase your lifetime value. However, if you want to learn more about how to reduce your customer acquisition costs and increase your customer lifetime value, we've prepared a free and very detailed guide for you about 8 proven methods to grow customer lifetime value. You can find it in the description below to this video. Just check it out and let me know in the comments what you think. So, let's get back to the strategy. First things first. You can define your high-value customer segments and focus on targeting them. That's typically done through cohorts or RFM analysis. And those are the whole separate topics for the separate video on this channel. Second, you can improve the onboarding experience. If you are in the SaaS industry, that's about your trial or freemium flow. If you're in e-commerce, that's about identifying every little step after they make the first purchase and making them better. Your website, your store, whenever it happens, all of the email marketing communications. Because remember, a solid onboarding process can increase a customer lifespan and your chances of getting the same customer buying again and again from you. Ever heard the phrase that treat every customer like they're your first? There's the wisdom in this phrase. Exceptional customer service can turn a, a one-time buyer into a lifelong advocate and customer for your business. Number three, retargeting. Remember, it's way cheaper to get somebody who already knows you to get them to buy from you again than to get more attention from somebody who haven't heard any time about you before. 4. Personalized marketing In today's digital age, personalization is the key. Targeted emails, push notifications, special offers, ads, everything should be using individual customer preferences and behaviors. Most likely, you have that data already. Personalization shows that you care about them, what they search and what they want. 5. Upselling and cross-selling If done right, these strategies can significantly increase lifetime value and the trick here is to make your offers relevant and even more important, timely, just when they need it. Help your customer to see the value in what you are offering as complementary to their original purchases. And don't forget to grab that free guide I've mentioned before that is waiting for you in the description to this video to get more ways to increase your customer lifetime value. Let's bring this home with a real-world example. Consider a SaaS company that implemented a customer education program just to master the topic and learn their tool. By helping users understand how to use the software features to get the desired outcomes, that transformation that software tool delivers, they saw a 25% increase in user engagement and 15% boost in renewal rates. This move not only improved their lifetime value once, but this also positioned them as the thought leaders in their industry. Look. Growing lifetime value is about more than just money. In most cases, it's about building relationships. Because you sell to people, you're not making the sales to emotionless robots. Each strategy we discuss really opens a new avenue to build or improve those connections. The result? A lawyer customer base not only contributes to your revenue by making the purchases on your site or in your store, but also becomes a part of your brand's story. If these strategies resonate with you, or if you have your own success stories to share, please let me know in the comments to this video. And please, don't forget to like this video. Let's learn and grow together. In our next video, we'll explore cohort analysis in detail and how these analytics tactics and strategies can be used to, to even create more tailored approaches to improve in lifetime value.
Stay tuned and let's make your data work for you. At Aux, we are all about making your data accessible, meaningful and actionable. If you are looking to dive deeper into optimizing your lifetime value or if you want to help your analytics, reach out to us using the link in the description to this video. We are here to help your business thrive. That's it from me today. If you are interested to know more about analytics, marketing strategies, business intelligence and data, please subscribe to this channel and thank you so much for watching this video. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you being more data driven next time. Bye.